Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT and in today's video my boys I wanted to first start off by saying that I do apologize. It's been some time. I apologize for not uploading a video or going live in a couple of days. I've been spending time with family, you know, with the Thanksgiving holiday. By the way, I hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving if you do celebrate. Um, but that's what I've been doing so I have not had time to make any videos or go live So I do apologize about that and I wanted to go ahead and state that right off the bat uh, But we're here today and I have a lot of things that I want to go over um, Things that you probably already know that's going on on the global side of Honkai and factory But since I have been away I have not you know gotten a chance to go over it And I know some of you guys like to hear my opinion or just like me to go over the announcements and things like that so uh, I want to go over some of the announcements. I want to go over some of what's going on in the supply shop as well as um, some updates on what's going on on my side uh, with my account because uh, I have been playing and uh, been grinding. So I wanted to go ahead and show off some of that stuff. So if you enjoy the video today, you like what you see, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, uh, go ahead and consider subscribing for more content like this and much more in the future. I promise I'll be more consistent. I know I say that all the time. And uh, remember to hit the notification bell to say notified when I go live or upload a no new video. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's jump straight into it. So if we go over to the announcements, there's a lot of things going on in the announcements that I have not been able to go over. Um, first things first, there is a Thanksgiving 50% discount in the focus supply. If you want to go ahead and obtain the focus supply cards that you can go ahead and obtain. Now, I'll go over that more in detail in just a moment. But that is in the shop you can go ahead and take advantage of. There is the uh, expansion supply that is going on. So Celestial Him and Memento were the s rank Valkyries that were voted upon. Um, which, you know, I'm glad Celestial Him was voted upon because she is such a necessary Valkyrie when it comes to um, Affinity Abyss, especially when it comes to the higher temperatures. She's just very, very valuable there and she shines really well. Plus, she's just a great Valkyrie overall to have on many team builds and many team comps. So, um, just a really good s rank Valkyrie to have. So, a uh, great chance for you guys to obtain her if you did not obtain her in the expansion supply when she first dropped. And then Memento came back. She was just here, but she did come back. Um, as far as Memento, I would say save your crystals. Um, it, she is awesome to have on the account. She looks great. I whaled out for her. Um, if you did not see that video, I activated whale mode for her. But in all honesty, um, she, she, she drops off um, a, a little bit. She's still a fantastic Valkyrie. She's really great. Um, but ever since I've obtained Six Serenade, um, she just doesn't compare as far as you know for me anyways but it's not a fair comparison because i maxed out my six serenade and i did not max out memento so uh, but my in my opinion memento is not worth spending crystals on but celestial him definitely is um and then the a rank valkyries are flame saki tama and ritual Kalen. so you can see here and you can see the dates for when the updrop rate are for them so um i would say spend for celestial him i would say not for uh, memento if that's what you're going for but that's just my opinion um, also keep in mind we have uh, the um, new expansion supply that will be coming around in the beginning of December I don't have any dates or anything like like that I'm just going off of what um, you know we've been having in the past so uh, just keep that in mind when you're spending crystals and, and things like that so moving on from there we have the <laughs> it's not a video without me coughing it's, it's no longer a video without me coughing. I do apologize. I still got the cough. Anyways, we're going to act like that never happened. Moving on, um, we have the pumpkin pie um, currency that you can use. We'll go more into detail about that when we get into the shop. So that's the thing. Um, and I believe, oh, and we have a new focus supply um, with the Demon Blade Floor Sakura that came back as the updrop rate as well as the Higu Kamaru um, set. So that is a thing, and those are the that's the only weapon and set that's going on for that date right there. Um, and these are the other notable four star weapons and notable four star stigmatas. And uh, with that being said, there is going to be a rotating focus supply for Thanksgiving, um, as you can see from the 23rd through the De uh, to December 7th is when the rotating focus supply is going to be coming around, or I should say, is going to be here. Now, with that being said, I'm just going to throw a, the a theory out. I don't have any information about this, but with the focus supply ending on December 7th, um, and they not they have not reported on any other focus supply coming, 
Um, I think that is a good date to mark as a service maintenance update, a new expansion supply and a new focus supply. So December 7th, mark that date. Um, I believe, and this is just me theorizing, I believe that is when a new service maintenance update is gonna arrive where we're gonna get a new expansion supply, which I believe is gonna um, showcase Shadow Knight as the s rank Valkyrie battle suit, um, as well as the new focus supply, because if you have not been around for long or do not know, they have been pairing the focus supplies um, very closely in, in tandem with the expansion supply, um, if not on the same date in some cases. So uh, mark that date, December 7th, I believe is when we're gonna get a new service maintenance update with a new expansion supply and focus supply. But um, what we have right now is the Damon Blade Floor Sakura and the Higu Kumaru set. Um, and then right after that is going to be the 11 Sacred Relic um, and the Kalen Stigmata set. Um, and then, or is that the Kalen Stigmata set? I'm sorry, guys. If I have that wrong, I do apologize. Um, but I believe it is. I, I probably have that wrong. Uh, and then right after that, we have Balmung and the Schrodinger set. And then we have the 5th Sacred Relic and the Plank set. Now, um, I have the Floor Socket. I have the 11 Sacred Relic. Um, I don't have Balmung, but that's not really a weapon I would want to go for. Um, the Fist Sacred Relic is a weapon I really want as well as some of the plank set um, because I think right now I only have one of them and I think that might be the top. I may not have any of them <laughs> but I think I only have the top or the mid. But with that being said I would love to go ahead and obtain the Fist Sacred Relic so I may do just a YOLO multi, just one multi to try and get the Fist Sacred Relic if I can. That weapon has eluded me for such a long time and it continues to. Um, so I'll try my luck at that. I'll probably just do a YOLO multi to try and obtain that. But there you go, guys. So those are the weapons. Those are the Stigmata sets. So if you're trying to obtain one of those, those are the dates for the updrop rate. And you can go ahead and try your luck at that um, and obtain those. Now we have the Hershiser Archives Unlock. Um, and this is a challenge event where you can go ahead and challenge. Um, but you have to be, I believe, level 65 or above. Um, so if you're close to that, go ahead and grind it out. They have some good rewards. Um, they have a nice emblem you can obtain after um, clearing all stages, but you only have one challenge attempt per day So keep that in mind. Um, you cannot challenge it more than that But there are some good rewards like alloy shields um, phase shifters Tesla turbines all the good um, Upgrading material that you're gonna want to obtain for upgrading stigmatas your base um, Weapons things of that nature so really really good stuff there So you're gonna want to go ahead and take advantage of that um, if you can um, we have a new Kiana's Black Ops, so we had one before and now we have a new one um, that you can go ahead and farm out. This one is, uh, as far as the objectives, a little more challenging for this one, but still very doable. It's nothing too difficult, um, and I believe you have two challenge attempts on that as well. And then we have a uh, login for seven days, a new one, um, which uh, features a Terry Terry st uh, Stigma mid at the end of it, and um, looks like 400 crystals that you can obtain, uh, so that's really good right there. So those are um all the updates that i did not get a chance to go over since i've been gone um that i wanted to go over now before i go over to the supply shop and um go over some of the uh, updated stuff to my account i did want to jump over straight to um my memento or not memento uh, my miko because i have maxed out the socket of blossom this has been my next weapon weapon that i maxed out so i'm very happy about that something i've been working on for a very long time and I am very, very, very close to triple S ranking her. Um, as you can see, I am uh, less than 30 frags away from triple S ranking her. So that has been a uh, mission of mine, a focus of mine that I really want to do. She will be my first triple S ranked Valkyrie and uh, very deserving of that. So i um, super excited about that. Oh, no, my ba <laughs> battery's about to die. That's OK. We're going to get this video done before that happens. Um, but like I was saying, I'm very close to doing that. I'm excited uh, to go ahead and get that done. Now, let's go ahead and move over to the shop because there's been some new updates to the shop, some things that have been added um, that is very, very interesting. So to start off with the pumpkin pie, the currency, the new currency that you can get from the event that I'll show in just a second. I'm sure you guys are very aware of that. Um, new stuff that you can get, which is very interesting. One being this Trinity Shard. Unfortunately, it's only one that you can obtain. It should have been three. I don't know why it's not three, but it's only one. So that's unfortunate, but um, if you have two already, there you go. You got a Honkai core right there. Um, what's very cool, though, is you can get 20 of these Phoenix fragments. Um, so that is a, uh, 20 fragments closer to unlocking Phoenix. And I know a lot of 
uh, people are close to unlocking Phoenix. So that is really cool that you can obtain um, with this material or this currency. And it doesn't take a whole lot. Um, the stigma, I didn't mean to um, go over the stigma. Uh, I mean, uh, look over the stigma, but this is a stigma you can go ahead and obtain if you want to. Um, as far as the stigma goes in it, in of itself, um, in combat when maximum HP is more than 800, increase physical damage by 1%. For every 400 HP exceeded, stacks up to 7 times. Um, it's a decent one. I mean, uh, not one I'm too excited for, to be quite honest with you. Um, these are the applicable Valkyries you can um, go ahead and place that stigma on. I just think there's better ones out there you can put on her. But it's free, so you can go ahead and obtain it for 150 of those pumpkin pies. So if you have some, you want to go ahead and obtain it, you can go ahead and do that. Um, what's also really cool is there's some Night Squire fragments you can obtain. Um, so you can go ahead and uh, evolve your Night Squire or obtain her just in general. And then what's really cool is this Memento um, outfit. If you have Memento, you can go ahead and purchase this outfit and go ahead and put it on her um, for these uh, this currency. So that is really cool. As you can see, I haven't used any pumpkin pies. Um, I'm just kind of holding on to it right now, deciding what I want to do first. Um, but in my opinion, uh, the Trinity Shard is very valuable as well as the Phoenix Fragments. Those will be the two that I would probably go for first, it, it, just in general. And then the Night Squire Fragment. And then if um, you have Memento, the Memento outfit. Uh, and then the stigma if you have some left over. That's my order on that. Um, but again, it's up to you. Your guys' account. You do as you wish with that. Uh, that's just my opinion on that. Now, moving on from there. Uh, we have the Black Friday shop. So the Black Friday shop is uh, pretty interesting. Now, as you can see, um, the focus supplies is not there. I went ahead and spent the 1400 crystals to get the 10 focus supplies. It is 50% off. It's a deal because, you know, to do a multi is 2,800 crystals. And with the 10 focus supplies, you can go ahead and um, do a multi with only 1,400 crystals. So it's a no-brainer. If you have it, go ahead and obtain it. It's a really good deal to go ahead and purchase. So I went ahead and purchased that. Now, with using crystals is how you obtain the currency Black Friday shopping card. If you want to wear, um, you have to spend crystals to obtain this Black Friday shopping card. Now with that Black Friday shopping card, you can go ahead and obtain the standard supply cards here. Or you can obtain this uh, very, very nice Night Moonbeam outfit uh, if you have Night Moonbeam like I do. Now, with that being said, in order to get the Night Moonbeam outfit, I think you have to spend close to 6,000 crystals, if not that amount exactly, to go ahead and get this outfit. And um, that, that's, a, that's a tall order. Now... With that also being said, it is a fantastic outfit, and I would normally do that to obtain this outfit, but the only problem is, my boys, um, is if you go over here to the supply and the supply here, for the focus supply, um, one, I have the focus supply cards, so I can't use crystals here because I, I have the cards, um, so it would use the cards first without using the crystals, and then for the expansion supply, I have the cards um, and uh, for the, the singles, um, and I could use crystals on this one, but the only problem is, is I have Celestial Him and I have um, Flame Sakitama. I have both of them, so uh, that would be kind of a waste. And the Focus Supply, I mean, this would be kind of a waste unless I got the Higu Kamara bottom, but I would still have to use the cards first, which I think would be a waste as well. And then the Standard Supply, which I wouldn't want to spend 6,000 crystals on the Standard Supply because I already did the Guaranteed 33 to get an S-Ray, and um, it's not really in my favor to get another s rank that i don't have already so i just don't know where i would spend that much crystals to go ahead and obtain that outfit there's just nowhere where i would actually go ahead and use that to be quite honest with you guys and with that also being said i mean i can go in the shop and spend some around here but i don't plan on spending enough crystals to get you know enough items to, i just wouldn't know what to do so as far as that goes i may have to pass up on this outfit and hopefully at some point or another they put it in the costume shop um, I just may have to do that I may have to wait up until that point um, so I'm still kinda deciding what I'm gonna do I'm in a little bit of a pickle there but that is what it is for that um, it is an awesome outfit I would love to definitely obtain it it looks fantastic but um, I just I don't know just yet if there was something if there was like an expansion supply like Shadow Knight out right now guarantee that outfit would have been already already gotten <laughs> I would have already had it on, but unfortunately, there's nothing really there for me, so um, it's a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. I'm still going to ponder and see. I may still get the outfit some way, somehow. So, moving on for there, 
Um, just as a bit of an update, um, as far as Affinity Abyss and the rest of the account goes, uh, when it comes to the Affinity Abyss, uh, you can see I am in the Red Lotus tier. My boys, I have finally made it to Red Lotus. Temperature 134 degrees. Um, and you can see I'm already on the 10th floor as this goes right here. Um, so expect some videos on the Red Lotus Abyss. I'm not going to do it today. Um, but expect some videos on this. Expect some live streams. All that good stuff since I finally made it. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to make it. And if you're on the Discord, you already know I've made it. Um, which reminds me in the description below go ahead and click the link that's the link to the discord go ahead and join the discord today you'll get um, advanced notice about things like that and much more you get to go ahead and discuss um, the global side of Honkai Impact 3 as well as SEA and Japanese and Chinese versions we got everybody in there to go ahead and update with you with the game and a lot of people that know good stuff about the game on there that can help you out with team form comps weapons stigmatas things like that um, but let me go ahead and show the team that I'm using right now now, I don't normally use this team. I switched the team up slightly um, because I was fighting uh, Ganesha on the 10th floor. So I, I put in Miko in replace of a Valkyrie Pledge. Um, so this was the team comp for that. But normally I have Celestial Him, Valkyrie Pledge, and Six Serenade, and that's been working really well for me up until this point. Um, so I'll switch to Valkyrie Pledge moving on from there to see how that continues to go. Um, but yeah, I'm finally in the Red Lotus Abyss. So I'm uh, extremely happy about that. And like I mentioned, I will bring some videos about that um, as the time comes on. Now, I have done the Trap the uh, Beast. And I've, uh, as you can see, completed the full objective. So that is there as well. And then if we move over to the uh, events here, as far as Memorial Arena goes, um, I have each boss double S um, except Doom. I'm still working on that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have... Um, uh, both of them double S and then Doom on just single S, but I will go ahead and use that last daily attempt to go ahead and double S that one. Um, but that's Memorial Arena. They're still working Memorial Arena. And then as far as these go here, um, you know, just traditional stuff right there. So um, that is all for the update. That is everything I wanted to go ahead and go over with you guys today. I know it was a lot, um, but I've been away for a couple of days. So I wanted to update with you guys with everything that's been going on on my account. Um, as you can see, I'm still grinding, I'm still playing the game heavily, uh, especially, um, or even on my times that I don't, don't upload, you better believe I'm still playing. And if you're in the Discord, you guys know that, or in my Armada, you guys know that as well. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it slightly informative or entertaining or a little bit of both. Um, and in my next videos, I'll probably do some gameplays. Hopefully there's some announcements um and good stuff like that um and then just leave a comment below let me know what you guys want to see next let me know i'll do a poll actually in my community tab so uh after this video go ahead and check the community tab i'll leave a poll there letting um asking you guys what you would like to see next um, but with that being said i'm going to get out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do and until next time my boys until next time it's your homie cody gt and i'm out